I'm here for the first light breakfast. Oh, it's right in here. See in the right spot, buddy. <laughs> Ken, you're so domestic. You got bacon and eggs going? Won't be long. It will not be long. <laughs> you guys are just good. Good morning, Ben. Good morning, how are you? Get used to that, Ben. Good. I have been shoving it in Ben's face. I'm adding to your uh, nonprofit cup collection. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. I do like I do like the haircut. Oh. So when you say you did it yourself, exactly, what did you do? I made a mess out of my bathroom sink. Did you just use like a pair of scissors or a no. buzzer? I, I have you know the wall hair care system. That every <laughs> man has. Like, is there any significance to the feather in your hat? Yeah, I found this when I was when I missed my stone ram. That uh -huh. was when I found my arrow that was laying there. Really? Yeah. She talked about. I don't know even what it was. What it is? We want to go with eagle. They were actually in. You know, it just has a. You know, it's an eagle feather. Hair's feeling good. I don't know what's going on. My Dude, like it's, your hair is epic. It, it's certainly, um, it, it's more, uh, what do you call it? Like, like virile. Virile. Dude, look at that. All right, Aaron. Ready to go. Ready to kill? It's a little nippy this morning. You got your uh, blanket in there? Yeah, I got everything. It's called a whoopee, right? It's a whoopee. And it, if you call it a blanket, it doesn't have as much manliness. Although whoopee doesn't either. No, it does not. We should probably <laughs> change the name of that at some point. No, I'm good to go. It is cold this morning. Yeah. Visibility isn't too hot, bro. No, visibility is 40 yards maybe, <laughs> which is good. I can't shoot much further than that anyway. <laughs> Dude, I know it, Aaron. A 200 inch is just going to materialize in the mist. And, uh. I hope the wind changes at the bottom because it ain't not good right now. Yeah. It's not being good to you? No, not the way. This should be coming down that way. The wind's blowing that way. Hopefully. You have the GoPro mount, right? Yeah, it's a good pack. So, uh, do me a favor. Turn it on. <laughs> I know. I'll turn it on. All right, we're out. All right, we got, uh, we ditched Aaron this morning, but you really can't see very far. But Ben and I are gonna shoot Ben's bow since mine's still at the airport. But I, I like this never quit. Dude, what's the story on that? I was gonna ask you. Um, we were actually sitting right here and I was putting a stock on a, what I thought was a decent buck across the way here and it was uh, raining and the wind was terrible so I sat down and have a sandwich and uh, the Marcus Luttrell podcast came to me about team never quit so anyway I snuck in what I thought was this little buck and tried to get close on it and ended up being a 180 inch buck and we hammered it like two hours later so nice. that was it so I wrote never quit team never quit on there that's nice that's the story well I'm going to give this a whirl and see if I can uh how good I can shoot with it. I think we got the same draw length. And uh, so we'll see. Let's do it. Little left. I don't know. Probably me.
well <clears throat> the uh, fog cleared out pretty good I don't know if I missed anything but um, it's just the fog was so thick there's 13 does and a little four point bedded maybe 800 yards away 600 yards away there the four points extremely killable but it's not very big um, there was another I thought it was a buck it still hasn't moved bedded about the same distance away but I don't know my spotter with me and uh, I'm gonna pack my stuff up get a closer look it's in a bunch of brush and I can't tell if what looks to be a rack is brush or it's actually a rack if it is a rack it's an extremely large buck uh, I'm gonna check on that if it's not a buck I'm gonna bounce and head back meet up with the guys uh, back by this pump station but it's been a rough start this morning just with the fog it's difficult to find anything alive it's just too thick just got the drop off so that buck I spotted this morning, I talked about it on the GoPro, and uh, it was super foggy, and uh, I kind of gave up on it. I don't know this area. I'm not used to hunting the prairie with Laura Ingalls, so I was like, well, it must have bounced. <laughs> Lander is sure. I saw magpies when I saw it. I thought something was dead. And uh, Lander says, the buck's out here. Magpies just drive him crazy. And uh, he thinks this, this buck is in this big drainage over here bedded. He figured within a couple hundred yards from where I saw it, it's a it's a big, big deer. So we're gonna try and shoot it. We had Lander Park, it's about a half mile from where we're going so we can warm up. Yeah, I'm happy about that, it's pretty cool. Yeah, we're on it. Yep, so that fence line runs into it. It was right by that fence line, just this side of it. So but we'll just get to that and, we'll keep, then, yeah. and then just keep looking. Glass our way, be real yeah. slow. Well, there's a ton of does in here this morning. I can tell you what. If I had to still hunt this, you'd have to duct tape my feet together <laughs> like a foot of thing. Because, dude, there's, when well, you look in the bottom, it's a lot of time. Well, Aaron, so far? We had snack time. Um, we saw one deer we could have killed with a rifle. He, uh, good deer. There's a good deer. 175 maybe. And uh -huh. uh, some does smell this or sauce or something, I don't know. But they bounced and then he took off. We got busted. He was smart. I mean, he was probably 180 yards away. And the wind was blowing left to right. He was bedded here. There was does here, and he was facing that way. He was not going to die today from a bow. He's a pretty smart deer. Good buck. Pretty massive. He had good mass. My legs are a little sore. Not from hiking, but from cactuses. 
Oh, yeah, I have them in the uh, hang down, the quads, shins. You'd think, you know, low crawling up a few feet is not a big deal. It's kind of like a minefield. You gotta scout it out. Dude, there's some right here. Yeah, I can. Yeah. There's some. Intense. Yeah. If you wanna do a combat roll, you gotta think ahead. <laughs> it's important. There's prickly pear cactus everywhere. They're sharper than Hades. Oh, yeah. Mm. I got stabbed in the finger here, in the hand. Ow. Yeah. Take that in the keister. <laughs> you feel it, man. <laughs> feel it. I'm glad I brought a leather, man. Let's go put this under Lander's seat. Yeah, I know, right? He probably already did that to our bed, and we don't know. <laughs> this is after I stepped stepped on it and beat the crowd out of it yeah i got a few of these uh surprises <laughs> when we belly crawled <laughs> to the edge it's gonna have to be a big mother flipping deer for me to low crawl anymore <laughs> my knees and my legs are a little sore yeah i got those are my quads i got them all over my quads the thing is uh my thumb is the worst dude yeah, it's like dude. purple there that thing went in like it was like a a, a a nail went in my thumb like a quarter inch. <laughs> yeah. So the next stock's gonna be in like a pea field or something. <laughs> Alfalfa. Yeah. I see it over there. Yeah. It's the only thing green. Yeah, actually, it, it is the only thing green, other than our camo. So we got fogged out this morning, but we did see a buck. One good buck. Yep. Yep. There was one up here when we first came down. Same one, actually, I probably saw this morning. 140, 150, I don't know. Small four-point. There's a couple of fork and horns, but actual a buck, we saw one. I think it's good. What did you think of dinner last night? Because Ryan, 50 cal, is cooking dinner for us tonight, and it's going to be... Uh, Ryan can cook. Mule deer, venison something, which I'm all about that. But last night we had that... Um, other I, meal. The lady yelling at Brian how stupid he was about doing a podcast and technology is the devil. As she's sitting on. She sort of half complimented, half, you know, was well, pissed off. She's She was slightly, she was a little girthy and needed a cart to get around with the electric ones. And her son was in the same boat on a computer playing video games as she kind of complained about the podcast. After that, they gave us spaghetti and bread, so I didn't say anything. I was very happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wasn't too bad, too. No. A lot of carbs last night. A lot of carbs, though. I liked the soft serve ice cream with, with the... Strawberry. The canned berries and stuff and the and the banana bread. It was pretty good, you know? I mean, it was straight up sugar, but... uh, It's better than not eating. But I'm excited for whatever cow's got concocted. Yeah, cow can cook. <laughs> for sure. Now, I, we, I we should clarify. Yeah, well, you had a cold, cold day. Yeah. I was in the truck a lot. And then I was out shooting Ben Jackson's bow. I was wrapped in a whoopee <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I was going to say, I actually saw probably 30 deer today. Oh, yeah. But just just not a buck. And I probably, yeah, I probably saw more now because I was sitting down here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just not... We're trying to shoot. I'm wanting to shoot something 160, 65. Like normal, that number goes down every day. By the end of the week, if you do the math, six days, 160. I mean, it's basically going to be a coos deer. But I would, I would venture to say for all of those people following this that I would, I would stake my life on you. I stake my life on you killing a little fork and horn if it walked within 15 yards of you. I don't know. I don't like. Those can you resist? Morning. Can you really resist? Those ones this morning, I didn't go after them. They were straight across from me. Well, yeah, but I'm just talking about walking. I mean, you're I just know. That's the a killer. Six, just... That's a six thousand dollar fork at horn. <laughs> <laughs> that puts... Do the math. Four points divided by six. That doesn't it... come out very good. <laughs> that puts it in perspective. That, I mean. Even for Schnizzle, that's a hard that's a hard release to let go. I mean, I'm not saying I I, I mean at the last day I, I'll shoot whatever, but I don't know that I could do that just for the simple fact of 
what this thing costs. And I mean, I can go anywhere and shoot a fork and horn for like 30 bucks. I yeah. Mean, you know, even an out of state tag, 275, 6,000 airfare. Yeah. It's, it's an expensive fork and horn. Well, I went on that grizzly hunt. It was $75. We shot a grouse. It's a $7,500 grouse breast. <laughs> Thing probably weighs twelve ounces. Do the math. That's the most expensive bird <laughs> on the planet. Oh. Uh, yep. Adventure. Adventure. It's our, it's our middle names. Uh huh. Cold is actually my middle name. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. I've got some more layers if you need one. Oh yeah. We should probably go find them. They're right up there looking for us. Oh yeah. They might have just parked there because we saw them coming over to pick us up. So we out. <laughs>